everyone, this is Intuitive Edge. Welcome once again to my channel. Thanks for joining me. It's time to take a look at our weekly what's ahead to see what might be coming up in the news, what we might be seeing. So let's take an intuitive look. What's going to be in the news? I have the Three of Wands and I've been looking at this card, kind of focusing in on my intuition with it. And I'm seeing something starting grassroots in one area, but also springing up in other areas. So this could be something that starts in one area and goes global. I see it with the C in this picture denoting, you know, overseas. I just see it spreading to other areas, this grassroots movement, and it's just sprouting up, going other places. I, I'm also really dialed into this ship and I don't know if it has something to do with transportation, like shipping, but I'm really clued in on this ship. So I don't know if, if there's like a like a like cargo ship or something involved or shipping, but something about cargo and trade possibly. But there's something that is going global that we're going to be seeing coming up. Okay. So the next question is, what will be going on with society and what's going to be talked about? And I've got an offering card on this one. This is a messenger telling us that there's some sort of negotiation or offer being made or some sort of truce or two sides, maybe one side bringing an offer to a table and somebody else or maybe trying to bring an offer to a table some sort of negotiation. Um, it could be related to the, the travel or the shipping thing, possibly springing up in other areas, but there's some type of meeting or negotiating going on also with it. So next is what is on the horizon coming into view. And I have the chariot card on that. Chariot card is a major arcana, it talks about a lot of movement, something being pursued, a lot of movement, a lot of energy. You know, with that chariot card being a card of taking action and aggressive energy, um, I'm kind of getting like um, real aggressive with it. That's the feeling I'm getting. And the Knight of Cups is that I, we just looked at a moment ago is facing right into the chariot like trying to negotiate with someone or something some entity that is being very aggressive in wanting to take control of, of a situation and there's this offer being made like come to the table and talk but this is like i mean if you can see this card here this charioteer is pulling up that that reed like just grabbing on, like just wanting to take charge, take control. And this card to me is someone like looking, he's looking straight ahead. And the way these cards are facing each other in the reading, the way I'm looking at them, is this card is facing into this one. Like come, like here's an offer, let's negotiate. And this is like going, like they're not even, this person here is not looking at this person. They're not, it's not like a meeting of the minds where, okay, let's negotiate, let's talk something through. This is like, no, we're doing it this way and full speed ahead and I'm just gonna take charge and rip things out as I go. I don't, I don't sense a, a conciliatory attitude between someone who is trying to negotiate something. And I think that's what's springing up because this is what's behind the night Okay, behind the night. <laughs> so the way I'm looking at the cards, trying to put them the right way. Okay, so this is, I, and again, what I was seeing with this card is something springing up, grassroots, taking root like in different areas. It's gaining steam and popularity. And this, this messenger is saying, there's a lot behind this. Um, negotiate, negotiate. And the driving force is ignore. It's like ignoring you or not negotiating. Now that's really too bad because we have the judgment card on what's going on behind the scenes. 
And this is kind of, you know, your day of reckoning. And, you know, when you're facing a day of reckoning, it's better to not just be a bull in a trend shop and just push full steam ahead. So this is this charioteer is going to run headlong into that energy of the judgment card. So it would be wise for the chariot person to negotiate with the person who is wanting to negotiate and come to the table. The energy that's fading away or moving into the past or the waning influence is this Ace of Pentacles. Now, Aces are really positive, nice cards to have, but to have this be fading away and this card being about things of value, money, things that have to do with commerce, perhaps. So with this card, I'll, I just pause the video for a second to kind of tune into it. And this path here, moving forward, there's a reed or a branch along the path. And this hand, with this energy moving away and fading, pulling back, I feel like this withholding, these represent money, finances, um, goods and services, that kind of thing. And it's like withholding and trying to obstruct this path forward. So again, this card is positive and with its influence of money and finances being plentiful, new beginnings in terms of money, um, with this fading away into the past, it feels like that withholding energy is, is, is coming in with it. So I think, I think it's kind of a negative with this. It's what was once a good idea is being obstructed and withheld and trying to steer. I think it's going back to this chariot person trying to steer the narrative a certain way. So this is what will surprise us this week. And I've got the queen, queen of cups on this. And what I sensed real strong when I turned it over is I just, I felt Canada. I know this has to do with Canada. Um, and this, this picture of this queen holding on to her cup and her offering, what this is like an offering. She's holding on and there's a king next to her making an offer. And I think that's what's going to surprise us is a neighboring king, maybe the United States, um, perhaps, because this, this is what will surprise us and what do we need to know. And this king is facing right back into the queen, like offering assistance, offering help, um, you know, focusing on this little fish here, um, you know, on the, on the page of cups card, sometimes that fish can symbolize something being a little fishy or a little weird. And I'm kind of getting that with this too. This is some sort of aid or offer being made to Canada. And there's, there's something shady about it because the moon is sitting at the back of the king. And this is the card of illusion, deception. Uh, things are behind the veil. They're not what they seem. There could be some, some funny business going on. So something is influencing the king to make an offer or assist Canada, the queen. So that's probably the United States stepping in to do something, but it, it's not all what it's cracked up to be. And this is the overall outcome coming up. So this overall, I'm, I think with what's been going on up there in Canada with the truckers and everything, this could be kind of a big week coming up and there is an effort to want to negotiate, but those who 
the, the other side is just not listening and they would rather rip up and tear it seems with this chariot energy we're just we're not it's like there, there's no energy between these two cards in other words I should, let me re-say that when I'm looking at these two cards, it's like this, the energy for this is going toward this card very much. He's facing into this card. But this card is like, it's just, we're not looking at you. We're looking this direction. We're ignoring you. And that's, that's just, I keep going back to that. The energy is only flowing one way on this energy of let's talk, let's negotiate. That energy is not being reciprocated at all and and it's it's gonna run headlong into that judgment that judgment card of you know this is your final warning kind of you're about to run into a brick wall the the judgment is kind of warning the chariot this judgment card is like this is this is you need to reassess and look at what you're doing because this is this is running headlong into judgment and but this surprising thing of the king kind of meddling with the funny business behind the king so there are there are probably many layers to this going down underneath and what we see happening is probably one layer but there's something else going on. There's another agenda, I think, happening underneath that is pushing and interfering and meddling, I think. The United States meddles a lot in other people's business, and it's unfortunate. I live here, <laughs> and uh, that's, that's what I see happening. They're meddling and they're interfering. Instead of... You know, if this king, what I'd like to see is if this king was on the other side of the chariot, then they would have the knight on one side, the king on the other, trying to trying to get somebody to negotiate. But this is almost like triangulating. We're going, we're not, we're not wanting to help you negotiate. We're just going to kind of go around you and talk to this person over here. And it's, it's not helpful. It's just not going to help the situation. So pretty much that's what I see this week. It's going to be pretty much Canada in the news and possibly springing up elsewhere around the globe. Maybe the same kind of thing. We've been kind of seeing rumors of that happening. I think we're going to see more of that come to fruition. I think this movement is taking and gaining steam. And uh, I think we'll see it develop a lot more. Uh, in the coming weeks. So that's what I see is ahead. And uh, that's what I have for this week and beyond. So, all right, that's what I've got everybody. Thanks for joining me and uh, we'll catch you next time. Bye for now.